Welcome to the QuickBooks University. My name is Matt Holtquist. Uh, in this QuickBooks online video, I want to show you how to properly record discounts uh, that you give to your customers, okay? Uh, because typically what uh, people will do is just on the face of the invoice, just uh, reduce their price on something and then maybe make a note that says, hey, you know, 20% discount given, all right? And you don't want to do that because it uh, can throw off your financial statements. You want to make sure that you record all the gross revenue that you bill for and then show the discounts as a separate line item in a separate account. OK, so the first thing we're going to do, you're going to go up to the gear and you're going to go to your account and settings. All right. And if you go under the sales tab, OK, you're going to see, uh, let's see, discount right here on. All right, so you, if you give discounts or you wanna give discounts, you basically just check this box and you'll see here with the question mark, it adds a discount field to invoices and other sales forms, okay? Now, related setting, it says right here, advanced chart of accounts, discount account, okay? So if we go to advanced, okay, we go to here, and <clears throat> we look in here and say, okay, uh, discount account, okay? So you want to make sure that you set up a separate account in your chart of account that is an income account called discounts given. So you have to make sure that you set this up so it knows where to put the discount. You don't want to lump the discount in with like design income or another revenue income account. You want to give it your own, its own separate account. And I'll show you why in a minute. All right. So discounts given goes to that separate account. All right. So let's hit done. So that's the first step in the setting it up in the uh, settings. All right. So let's say that we're going to go create an invoice here. Uh, let's just say new. Okay, and we're going to pick uh, any customer. We'll say Freeman Sporting Goods. All right, 715. Let's say product or service. Let's say that this was the design. All right, quantity. Uh, let's say that this was like 100 hours. Okay, so we got a pretty big invoice here, and we're like, you know what? We're going to give them a discount because they're doing a lot of work with us. Um, they've been a repeat customer, whatever the case may be. Okay, so you'll see down here when you turn that on in account and settings, you've got a discount percent, but you can also change it to a value. Okay, we're going to say percent. Let's say that it's 20%. So you'll see it automatically calculates $1,500 for a total of $6,000. All right, so the gross amount, $7,500, discount $1,500, net invoice $6,000. So let's save and close this. All right, and then let's pull up a profit and loss statement to show you what this does. All right, so you will see discounts given $1,989.50, okay? Now, let me show you first design income, $9,750. You're gonna see the amount come in, the gross full build amount, 7,500 bucks, all right? And if we go over here to discounts given, you're going to see that the $1,500 is recorded right here. Okay. So this is the, this is the proper way to show this on your profit and loss statement. You want to make sure that you show the full amount of revenue and then the discounts as a separate line item. This way you can track, okay, how much are we billing and how much in discounts are we giving? If you had this all lumped into one account right here under design income, you really would have no idea without having to dig into all the details and figuring it out by hand. And this is a way that will show you, okay, this, this is the total amount of discounts given. Maybe we're given too many discounts. Maybe, you know, who knows what the, what the, you know, what, what the answer is. All right. So that's the way to do it. Uh, head on over to QuickBooks University where we have a ton of, um, free videos and information. We have training on QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online to get you set up the right way. And I think the, uh, at least the feedback I get is the best part is that I personally, once you become a member uh, and get the full course, I personally will answer your questions and help you get set up right in QuickBooks Desktop or QuickBooks Online. So head on over there now, qbuniversity.org.